With the ban list just literally about hours away, I thought I should finally come forward and put down my suggestions and wish list for the new format. I think this format has been pretty good all round, but it's been a little bit slow for my liking, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try and speed it up and hopefully give some suggestions that will bring about a healthier and richer and more diverse format than what we've already seen so far. I hope you enjoy and you can emphasize with my wish list. So first of all, the baby dragons. Let's be honest, dragon rulers have done nothing in so long. I mean, they've won like a few ARG tournaments, like completely won it, like took it away and first place and stuff. But like, other than that, dragons are essentially a dead deck that have become a one-trick pony with soul charge and curry bandit. That's really all they've got going for them. I feel like that by bringing the baby dragons back into the game at one is totally a legit and fair way to make dragons competitive again. Speaking of dragons, their arch nemesis, Spellbooks. You see, Prophecy has access to literally the best card in the entire game, Fate. And, you know, they just did get top 4 at European Championships, but other than that, hear me out, the deck really hasn't done anything apart from, like, go plus 1 every single standby phase. It's cool though, so this is why I feel that Spellbook of Judgment should come back. Yes, Spellbook of Judgment. Look, I know what you're thinking, but let's be perfectly honest. Plus 9 during the end phase, keyword end phase, you know, you can't actually use your plus 9. It's in the end phase. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, come on, Inferno, you can go like plus 5 on their opening turn with very, very real and live deadly traps. And, you know, I feel like Spellbook of Judgment will give the deck some much needed speed. Sinister Serpent. Mermels have done nothing since the beginning of the format. I know they won Euros, as in won, like, took the entire tournament, but that's irrelevant. The deck is really bad and slow right now. And let's be honest, the guy probably just got really lucky, you know, and he's German, so he had, like, the home crowd support with the whole event being in, you know, Amsterdam, the capital of Berlin and stuff. Uh, so... You know, but that's just uh, that's just what I think. So the deck is just too slow right now, and you know, giving the deck infinite discard fodder during every standby phase is a totally plausible way to bring the deck back in line with other competitive, powerful meta decks, especially Water, because Water just doesn't have any any good like meta powerful decks right now, apart from Ice Barriers. Infernity Barrier. A surgical card that can negate everything and anything at spell speed 3. It doesn't need to be limited to 1. The deck relies on stunning your opponent into a coma. Deal with it. That's just how the deck works. Bring back barrier to, to 3, please. Heavy Storm, because fuck your back row, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Pot of Greed, because this is the logic. It's a plus like 2 or something, right? But if every deck can use it, then why should it be banned? Because everyone can use it. Monster Reborn because Soul Charge costs too many life points and that's at 3 so this is an obvious logic. Gateway of the Six at 3 because Samurais have done nothing apart from come last place at every local since, I don't know, Judgment of the Light or something. To be perfectly honest, I don't even know if I'm joking about this one. Ultimate Offering because some decks rely way too much on their normal summon and when they get stopped with things like bottomless and torrential and other simple one-offs, it's too it's it's too much, you know. Especially when your opponent's just going to capitalize on that very intelligent play they made. So, you know, decks like Madolch and stuff. This should hopefully boost the Satanic Cake Owl Cat Dogs by a bit. You know, put them in line with other fast-paced meta decks like Exodia. Uh, other things I feel that should maybe come back in the game, um, Trishula. Uh, just because, you know, Ice Barriers, they, they need some support. Uh, Bryanak, I think Bryanak needs to come back in the game. And it's, I mean, Trishla, Bryanak, Chaos, Envoy of the End, like, or Beginning, or whichever one it is that's banned. It's just, like, these cards, like, I mean, most of them can just be dealt with with 101 now, so it's really not that big of a deal. And, like, things like Bryanak, like, come on, that card does not have any, any broken hand loops at all, like, I can guarantee you that that card cannot produce hand loops. So it's fine. It should be back in the game. Especially with cards like Soul Charge. It's it's totally okay. Soul Charge doesn't like help the hand loop or anything. 
So, you know, Brian Ack, Trisha Law, just, you know, these kind of crappy guys like that. Just give, just give, just put them back in the game. Like, it, it's not healthy to keep things like this banned for so long. Well, if you enjoyed my ban list prediction, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe for the Spellbook of Judgment plus 9. See ya.